planned to uh, subject assemblies uh, from two different uh, manufacturers of CLT that we have in the US, the, the opportunity where we can test uh, large assemblies with a joint. And so for walls, we could uh, actually use the, the entire size of the uh, furnace, test furnace uh, that is in the Western Fire Center in Kelsa, Washington. This is the closest fire a testing lab that, that we know of. The way our tests were different from, from any standard test, I mean from the minimum that is required for any uh, structural material, was planting much more of these thermocouples, these um, temperature detectors, so to speak, and in order to figure out how the char uh, rate or char front pr progresses through the thickness, we had a thermal camera that uh, allowed us to see if there are any hot spots, in places that uh, heat up faster than others. The results generally are quite promising. Looking at it through the thermal camera, no suspicious flashes of, of uh, high temperature, no transmission of uh, high temperature gases until the very last uh, period of the, of the test five out of six of the assemblies that we've tested uh, lasted two hours and could last probably longer. There was nothing indicating uh, any immediate collapse. The, the fact that the, uh, this material has this fire certificate for two hours enables it to be used in high-rise projects above four stories. It, it just confirms the, the things that we would like to s tell everyone. Oh, it's safe. We've seen this. We've read this in in papers, other people have tried it. Uh, I can I can say like more experientially. I've seen it happen that way, I got with greater conviction. I've, I've witnessed tests like this. And believe me, it's uh, a very strong, very good, uh, very safe material.